Hey friends and welcome back to another video of our symbolic mathematics series. In this video we will talk about how to solve differential equations using symbolic expressions. So let's get started. What we can do with MATLAB is to solve quadratic equations. So here we have defined again our objects x, p and q and we solve this quadratic equation right here. So let's just execute this script and what you will see is it will give us two solutions which are indeed correct, which is first minus p half minus this expression, and then we have minus p half plus this expression right here. This is the second term. It's just a bit rearranged, but it's basically the same as above, with only a plus at this position right here. We want to s solve a system of equations right now, so let's warm a little bit up here we increase in terms of difficulty, we again define our symbolic objects x, y, and z. And what we then do is we say equation 1 equals x plus z equals 6. So we define our equations and then we write instead of 1 equal, we write equal to equal signs. So this is the first equation. Equation 2 is this expression. And equation 3 is this expression. This gives us a whole system of equations. Well, not yet. What we have to do is we have to type in solve, then concatenate, so to speak, our equations and put them into brackets. And then what we say is please save them, so to speak, in x, y, and z so that I can call them afterwards. And that I'll do in the next step. So I take x sol, so for x solution is soq, which is defined here, dot x. That's how I call the solution. Then soq.y and soq.z. So as you can see, x is 2, y is minus 1, and z is 4, which is indeed true, because if you put everything in, these solutions satisfy the whole system of equations. Let's move on. So in the next step, we will solve a first differential equation, and you will see it's very easy to do. We define a symbolic object called a and y of t. Then our first differential equation is y dot, so y dot is nothing else, you have to define it by writing diff y comma t, so that means nothing else than y is derived after t, so y dot minus a times t equals, again with a double equal sign, sine of t. And we give our initial condition, which is nothing else than con1 equals y of 0 equals 0. And if we now want to solve this equation, along with the initial condition, maybe I'll write it so that you know what that means, initial condition, it's the initial condition, so we write d solve, then we take the differential equation and we say comma and then put our initial condition in. So what this gives to us is the following, this is the solution to our differential equation, a times t squared divided by 2 minus cosine of t plus 1. This is the solution for this differential equation with this initial condition. What we can also do is to solve a differential equation, of course, of second order, so we go one rank higher. So what we say if y is derived two times after t, so y double dot, we say diff, again, y comma t, and this two times, so this is y double dot, plus y dot, plus y equals five times t. And as you see, we don't explicitly give uh, initial condition as in the first example and we just say please solve this differential equation and you see if we solve this equation without giving explicitly a uh, initial condition or we give not enough initial conditions we get the general solution for our differential equation with integration constants and they are named c1 as you can see and c2 in this example. So this is a very general solution, and if we want to have a more specific solution, we have to give initial conditions. So I hope that you learned some things on how to use very convenient functions and how to solve differential equations of first and second order by using dsolve inside of MATLAB. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe, share it with your friends, and give the video a thumbs up. And as always, do not forget to keep engineering your mind. See you in the next one where we talk about Taylor series expansion and how to determine limits inside of MATLAB again by using functions. Peace.